Welcome to Gabriel Foley Associates, where we bridge the gap between potential and opportunity. We specialize in technology development, connecting talented individuals with industry-leading firms. Our finest experts bring you software development, web applications, security, and web architecture, and much more. No job is too small or too large. We are the catalyst which will fuel your company's success. With Gabriel Foley Associates, you will dive into the future. Your success is our mission. Call now 415-669-6500. 415-669-6500. That's 415-669-6500. Call now. You can also visit us on the web at gabrielfoley.com. Remember, your success is our mission. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this next episode of the Big Nano Tech Show. Right now, I'm in Berkeley, California, right off of historic Telegraph Avenue. And uh, I'm going to take a walk down Telegraph about five, six blocks uh, from UC Berkeley and give you a little tour of um, what's basically the last days of Telegraph Avenue as we know it. Almost all of the old stores from the 60s are all gone. And I'll give a little little tour about what used to be there. There's two stores left. I believe Annapurna may be closing if it's not closed already. I haven't walked down in a few weeks, but I live right in this neighborhood in Berkeley. Um, so I'm gonna be starting over here. Give you a little quick recap of the famous people from Berkeley. Uh, Steve Jobs boss, Alan Alcorn, that started Atari. Uh, net, a network on a chip, uh, this guy named Giovanni DiMicelli, Wesley Clark, um, created the first microcomputer back in 1962. William Yeager built Cisco's first operating system. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple Computers. Gordon Moore, 1968, NM Electronics, which became Intel. Uh, Dustin Hoffman filmed The Graduate here. And uh, that building is no longer there. Actually, it sort of is there. It's been renovated, but it's a new cafe. So it's not, you can't go there. They used to have a picture of him sitting there. And uh, then I have a long list of here. Oh, of course, Robert Oppenheimer, uh, who's, who invented the uh, atom bomb. Edward Teller, thermal nuclear weapons. Revolutionary, uh, Wesley Clark invented the personal uh, computer link in 1962. George Crow, one of the original designers of Mac computers. And I believe that is the list. Oh, I have some more. Uh, the guy who started uh, television also here back in 1927. Television, they called it the video camera tube. Bruce Bolt, seismologist, back in, he died in 2005. Owen Chamberlain, particle physicist, uh, a lot of physicists, a whole bunch of um, Albert Einstein's son, and a whole bunch of uh, astronauts also from here, at least, I think, seven or eight. As well as Albert Giroso, he discovered the 12 elements on the periodic table. And there's many more, but the most famous guy is this guy whose book is right here. It's called Dancing Naked in the Minefield. His name is Kerry Mullis. And Kerry Mullis invented the PCR test. And that test uh, was most famous all over the world to give everyone false information about the pandemic. And Kerry Mullis, Mullis talks about that in his book. So I highly recommend reading it. So let's start off here. We're gonna walk from here five blocks to UC Berkeley. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll get started. In the galaxy of tech recruitment, one name shines brighter. Gabriel Foley Associates. This staffing firm is a spotlight illuminating paths for your company and developers alike. On our ship, you'll traverse the tech universe at blistering speed, experience the clash of human ingenuity and robotic proficiency, triumph over obstacles, not with arms, but through code. At the end, you stand triumphant in innovation's dawn, 
Gabriel Foley Associates is where your tech dreams take flight. So call us now at 415-669-6500. So we are at the corner of Telegraph Avenue and Parker Street. This is a brand new building. I used to have a shop right here on the corner called Higher Taste. Here we're walking down Telegraph. This is a brand new building. This is a very famous um, landmark spot, which I believe they have a plot somewhere over here. Looks like maybe I think it's up here. Okay, so. Anyway, the, this, this corner is here. Yeah, there's some, some little, some guy's trying to be famous. I don't know who that he is, but um, there he is. Um, so this is a landmark building. Uh, it used to be called the, uh, where is it? Here it is. This is the, uh, called the CIL, which stands for the Center for Independent Living, and they closed the building about mm, maybe six, seven years ago. As we walk down this way, we're going to run into one of the probably only authentic protests in Berkeley. They're protesting People's Park, sort of. So, uh, a historic event just happened a couple weeks ago where they uh, have closed People's Park and they're building uh, some student housing, um, making propaganda that there's not enough housing even though there's plenty of housing all around. And here is Pete's. Pete started in Berkeley, although this is not the regional Pete's. This one opened about 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago. So this is the protest they got going on. And the guy who's orchestrating it, he kind of knows what's going on in Berkeley, although he smokes a little too much, too much weed, so his brain's a little scrambled, but he does know about Black Rock and what's going on, so he's organized a little takeover of this little park here. And originally they started this park uh, to get, the, they put this little fence around it so that um, to keep people out. But now they've taken over it. And hey, how you guys doing? All right, how are you? Great, great. Um, so this is excellent protest here. Protesting people part and the protesting and taking over the park. So this is it up here. They've put in a bunch of shipping containers all around the park. And this park is a, a historical significance um, back in the 60s. I'm not going to really get into it too much, but back in the 60s, they, um, maybe I'll walk up there a little bit. The people took over the park. And um, some people were killed too. I believe two people, protesters were killed. UC Ber Berkeley owns this park. And the people took it over and they had a hippie fest here. Took over the park and kind of kept UC Berkeley out of it. You know, from doing anything for a while. And then UC Berkeley did a number of things like uh, they put in volleyball courts and basketball courts and different things and finally just two weeks ago they decided to bring these huge shipping containers all up from, uh, from wherever they are and they have security here on the corner and normally it's a park and you can get in but it's all security out so anyway we won't spend, spend too much time on, on that there are in my opinion more pressing issues than that. Seven people were arrested a couple weeks ago. In my opinion, they're just old hippies who don't really know what's going on. Um, this is the corner of Shakespeare. It's not here now. They tore down the building. It used to be Shakespeare Books. And Shakespeare Books was one of the... Berkeley's known for printing books. So, this is the old building. But it's not there anymore. They tore it down. Now they have a whole bunch of new businesses. Surprisingly, the guy had the American flag here, but he took it down. I don't know why. 
and across the street is one of the older buildings here. Uh, Moe's Books has been here since the 60s. Um, and Mo was a cigar smoking guy. Uh, a little involved in the uh, political. He always had an opinion, but he had his bookstore. One of the only surviving bookstores on Berkeley. Uh, down here is Cody's Corner, which has also been renovated, which used to be Cody's Books. And uh, it was bombed back in 1989 when the Ayatollah Khomeini protest uh, was threatening because they decided to carry the satanic verses. So when they, they decided to carry that book called the Satanic Versus, someone set a bomb in there. And it was damaged, but nobody was hurt. And this is the corner of, uh, what do we have? Telegraph and Haste. This is a brand new building. It used to be a vacant lot for a long time, where one of the uh, longest running businesses in Berkeley, or on Telegraph, not in Berkeley, uh, called Annapurna was there and then there was a fire I believe and then it was a vacant lot for like 40 years and then uh, they moved across the street and that's where it is I don't know if you guys can see it that's Annapurna they're going to be closing very soon if they're not closed away and this is this is a brand new building that was half of this block was burnt down and there's a new building and this is a place where you get your sandwiches. It's really good, called the Intermet. So people usually line up down the street just for those sandwiches because they're so big. And this is that big Disney-looking building that they built. It's kind of ridiculous, but anyway. So we're walking down Telegraph Avenue. And this one is, uh, became Poppy Central not that long ago. It's part of... Rasputin. So Rasputin took over that Cody's books down there, but they didn't do very good, so they just kind of left it there. So Rasputin's been here for a while, probably since the 70s. And they have all the, the history of different musicians here. So that's where you go to get your, your used CDs and whatever. I don't even think I have CDs anymore. So here's, here's a run of corner. And it looks like they are over just to check it out. I don't know. Let's cross the street here. This is one of the oldest stores in Berkeley. Opened in 1959. I believe they're going to be closing in the next couple months, maybe three, four months. This is a new place, uh, I don't know, it's called the Gifts of Top. And these are all new, in fact this whole building has been renovated. Uh, a lot of different businesses are opened and closed here. This is kind of a famous place called Queen. I would say no more than 10 years old. And of course, actually, Mars has been here a while. I forgot about Mars. Uh, they're a vintage uh, clothing store. Right, run by a guy who owns, has kind of a, a market on the uh, all the vintage stuff. And these are all new businesses here. There used to be a place called Blond uh, Blondie's Pizza. That's gone. Pretty much everything is gone except for this place called Big Owls. Big Owls has been here for a long time. So if you need some smoke shop stuff, there's Big Owls. But other than Big Owls, all these other places are all new. And this is also a famous place. It used to be called Blake's. And now it's called Pappy's. But um, different different clubs have, have started there. And this has been here for a while, but not that long. It's a t-shirt shop. I think it was probably started 
late 90s. And Bank of America has been here for a really long time. They have an iconic building, I think. So I'm not sure if they're planning to tear it down. I think they have. Also, Games of Berkeley is, is a famous building. A lot of activists right there started in that building. Uh, disabled activists. Berkeley's known for its activists. Although no more. Nothing authentic. So, right now, they moved Blondie's Pizza up here, but it's not the same Blondie's. But it's a residual of an old business. This used to be Pete's, uh, no, sorry, um, what was Bagel Shit? A lot of them probably just Avenue, everybody. And that's an iconic building called that Bank of America has been there since the 60s. Then here is all new. Everything new. And we're approaching UC Berkeley at this next corner. All new buildings. Nothing like left of the old Telegraph Avenue except for those few businesses which I mentioned. Walgreens is new. This other cafe on the corner is new. And right here we see we're approaching a famous corner where uh, a lot of uh, different things happen, a lot of protests, the protest movement, the uh, Black Panther Party started their movement by handing out commun little red books, the Communist Manifesto, and selling them right here in this very spot, brainwashing everybody since the 60s, I like the yeah. and right here, everything from <laughs> Hare Krishna's to Black Panthers, to whatever you know it, it's all right here, started right in this spot. This is a brand new building on the corner, and this is Amazon. Amazon has this building now, most of it. The front is the cafeteria, but Amazon oper operates in the back. So, right back here you can, it's a, a, a locker and a shipping. A uh, place to go get all your stuff befitting of the uh, most influential and powerful organization in the world. Amazon right here at UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley is the center point for everything. Pretty much starts here in Berkeley. There was a lot of protests going on in this building. And we're going to be approaching Sather Gate. In just a second here, here's Sather Gate. Right up here. Sather Gate is the famous gate right into UC Berkeley. Uh, and this is the famous Berkeley Tower that you can see from all the way in Oakland. As we walk down, we're going to be ending at Sather Gate. You guys can look that up. So Sather Gate, um, actually, honestly, I don't really know the significance, sorry about that. I'm more a Telegraph Avenue guy, <laughs> but um, we are approaching Sather Gate. And so there, the, uh, right under Sather Gate, there's a creek that goes from the Berkeley Hills down, all the way down to the bay, I believe. Um, part of it's called Strawberry Creek. So here it is, Sather Gate. It's a really beautiful gate. Absolutely wonderful. A lot of uh, famous people have walked under this gate, including Albert Einstein, Oppenheimer, and Einstein's son, as I mentioned before, he was a professor here at UC Berkeley, Hans Einstein. And we walk up here, sort of to the beginning of campus, almost the middle, right over here. In this building over here, there's a lot of footage. If you guys are into 60s music and you wanna, and you know about Joan Baez, Joan Baez would would sit. Uh, there's some footage of her sitting right here. Right, there's a little grassy area over here. I don't think you can really see it. It's, it's kind of far down there. Anyway, Joan Baez singing and protesting. In my opinion, a big hypocrite. 
Anyway, so there's another building in here. There's some older buildings up here. But this is UC Berkeley where a lot happens. But anyway, so I want to give you guys a quick tour. That's kind of quick. Well, it only takes a few minutes to really walk, but I, I recommend reading this book called Dancing in the Minefield by Kerry Mullis. So Kerry Mullis is the inventor of the PCR test, and everybody should know about the PCR test right now. Uh, they use it to fake information on, on the COVID test. So whoever takes the PCR test, they, they use incorrect um, uh, uh, they, they manipulate it by, by using it wrong because no man, nobody really knows how to use it correctly. Your average person, you have to be a scientist to really understand. So that's been explained here by Carrie Mullis, who really, really should be the most famous guy from Berkeley. And there should be a day in Berkeley called the Carrie Mullis Day because this guy will tell you everything you need to know about science and what's going on. So he's the, out of all the scientists in the world, this one man is able to magnify something by a thousand times or even up to a million, I think up to a million, but at least a thousand times. Imagine magnifying something up to a thousand times and you, you can tell what it is. But the, the reality is, if you don't know what something is and you're magnifying it, so just use your common sense with that. You can say anything is anything if you don't know what it is and you're magnifying it. So, Harry Mullis, out of all the scientists in the world, was able to figure out how to magnify something up to a thousand times or a hundred thousand times. He explains all this in his book called Dancing Naked in the Minefield. Kerry Mullis mysteriously passed away by, from pneumonia, which he knew how to get rid of at a, a relatively uh, young age. I believe he was in his 70s, early 70s. So I recommend checking that book out, The Smartest Man from UC Berkeley, who you will not find anywhere on the internet as being some famous person from Berkeley, but he is. Kerry Mullis, uh, you should check him out. Um, his book is actually really good and he's, he knows a lot of other professors who are also kind of blackballed uh, for their um, stance uh, on the truth. And uh, they're not interested in making a show like other so-called scientists and technology experts. So we're leaving uh, the main part of Berkeley, that's Amazon, right there. And now we're walking back, and this is Bancroft and Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley. And a lot of people put their, their uh, protest stuff up here. You know, you might find some, some people who uh, come down here, old hippies, who are kind of brainwashed by the media, and then, but there's not really any authentic political activists, except for that one guy who's organizing that um, little protest in the small little part that I saw earlier. So you got a guy down here, he's, he's got the, uh, Israel, uh, he's, I think that's a um, Palestinian, Palestinian flag, I'm not really sure. So the same guy who organized that little protest over there, he started this little thing called the Chess Club, right out in back of me, right in front of Cody's Corner. And that's where I am right now. And I'm also very close to where they filmed The Graduate. I've kind of backtracked a couple blocks and I, I forgot to show you guys this. So I'm gonna just turn the camera over, but it's right in the cross the street from Moe's books. And if you watch The Graduate with Dustin Hoffman and Knight, I don't know, it's a 69 or something like that. But this building is, a, uh, is not what it used to be, but this was called the Med Cafe Mediterranean. And that is where, I think it's closed now. So they renovated it. And Dustin Hoffman sat right here. 
in the movie, and he looked across the street to Moe's books. So that's a little history for you. I'm about to wrap up uh, here, ladies and gentlemen, but check out Carrie Mollis's book, Dancing Naked in the Minefield. Highly recommend it. One of the most smartest men in the world, able to magnify something up to 10,000 times, at least a thousand, maybe even a million times. And he describes all of his invention there. Not any other scientist in the whole world could do this. This man is absolutely a genius, revolutionary, and he is erased, not completely erased from the internet, but called a wacko and crazy guy, but smarter than any other scientist out here. Uh, but he stood up to one of the most powerful men in the world, Dr. Fauci, who used his power to erase him from the internet and defame him, along with a few other notable scientists who are absolute geniuses over here at Berkeley who are not mentioned. But if you do a little, a little digging just from Kerry Mullis and his book, you'll be able to find them too. So this is Gabriel Foley from the Big Nano Tech Show. We hope you guys are able to be with us next week, next Wednesday, 3 p.m. Central Time. Sorry, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I don't know why I said Central Time. What, what, what plan am I on? Am I on? <laughs> so Pacific Standard Time, 3 to 4 p.m. Every Wednesday, we're going to start up the big Nano Tech Show. We have some great guests all lined up for you next week. Uh, possibly we got a recruiter. I haven't confirmed with him yet, but he said he wants to come on. So either he'll be on next week or the week after uh, having to do with technology recruiting. Uh, dev work development he's a great guy I met him on LinkedIn and we're gonna have uh, the usual guests uh, so I'm hoping to see you guys there next week next Wednesday 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Gabriel Foley signing out welcome to Gabriel Foley Associates where we bridge the gap between potential and opportunity we specialize in technology development, connecting talented individuals with industry-leading firms. Our finest experts bring you software development, web applications, security, and web architecture, and much more. No job is too small or too large. We are the catalyst which will fuel your company's success. With Gabriel Foley Associates, you will dive into the future. Your success is our mission. Call now 415-669-6500. 415-669-6500. That's 415-669-6500. Call now. You can also visit us on the web at gabrielfoley.com. Remember, your success is our mission. Insert clips of shock. Each frame, two seconds pause. There's an error. I apologize. I was not supposed to say that. Are you sure you want this? Underscore, underscore, underscore error. Stop error inserting people in shock. Images, searching. Wait, are you sure, sir, that you want these images? Underscore, pause. Pause, pause. No. More pause, pause. Ah, pause. Ah. Okay, now, the Big Nanotech Show, every Wednesday from 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.